It was 2007. Cassandra Voss just finished her junior year at St. Obert College. She was on top of the world, about to embark on a study abroad trip to South Africa. She was just very, very pleased and fulfilled and had big ideas and big plans for the future. Not specific ones necessarily, but general ones, and she was in the midst of figuring out what she was going to do. But before she were to go overseas, Cassandra wanted to squeeze in one last trip with her friend and roommate. The roadmap was to drive to San Francisco and back, with stops in between. But in the middle of rural Nebraska, tragedy struck. It was at 8.40 in the morning on May 21st, 2007. And uh, that's when the accident occurred, and Cassie was killed uh, on the scene, killed immediately. Cassandra was 21 years old. You know, this was God's will, and for whatever reason, even though there's no way I could understand it, I was going to go from the premise that things do happen for a positive reason, and if I have to wait to find out what that reason is, I'll certainly do that. Kurt's wait would last six years, but this is where the story comes full circle. You have a father, admittedly a conservative, who was able to find common ground with his feminist daughter, Cassandra. She became such a spokesperson that she could out-debate a pretty good debater, her father, and teach her father in such a way that her father could know and understand. A father's faith and determination, coupled with a daughter's dream, along with a number of amazing twists and turns along the way, has produced this. The Cassandra Voss Center, a former church built in 1883 that will house the Women's Center, the Men's Initiative, and the Women's and Gender Studies Discipline. She was my student and so beautiful in that her, her death is being turned into something extraordinary that will speak to people because we all want that we all want to believe in transformation and i can't believe that i'm a part of that cassandra was on track to become the first saint norbert student to complete an individualized major in women's and gender studies and she often spoke about a place on the saint norbert campus that would welcome all gender related programming it's often seen as things that we don't want to talk about but I think when we do really intentional and, and strong programming, folks want to be in those spaces, and I think that's proven true on campus. And this will be an opportunity to really, really amplify those programs. And I think St. Norbert will be a leader in the entire state and country with this sort of work. The Cassandra Voss Center is an innovative and unique facility, just like Cassandra would have envisioned it. Already, it's a space that has drawn one of the largest ever gift totals for gender programming at any college or university. There's no doubt in my mind that God has very very large plans for what's going to happen within those walls. The dedication for the Cassandra Voss Center will be held on her birthday. She would have been 28 years old. She'd buy a really great dress for the opening. I think it's a story of uh, faith uh, and you know God's been very faithful to me. You know faith isn't a one-way street. <laughs> It's, it's a two-way street and, and, and that's been proven to me through all the various things that have helped me to continue on, on with the path and, and for this project to come to fruition. I'm Mike Counter reporting for St. Norbert College.